characteristics of spatial data. There are characteristics of spatial data that make it unique from other types of data. You need to know about these special features in order to find and use spatial data. Spatial data is generalized, meaning it, meaning it is simplified from what you would find in real life. The more detailed your data are, the larger the file size is, which means more data to store and longer processing times when analyzing it in GIS software. Depending on your project, you may need data with more or less detail. In this example, the coastline outlined in red would be suitable for display on a county or state map. It would be difficult to see a lot of the small inlets and islands at that scale, so you would want something more generalized with less detail. The coastline outlined in blue would be suitable for a map of the town or something smaller, such as a specific bay or beach. More detail is often useful when mapping or analyzing a small area. Spatial data are also abstracted, meaning they include only what is necessary for your map and analysis. It would be impossible to include every feature that you see in real life on a map. Not only would it create large files, but the map would be difficult to read. This example includes data that have been abstracted in different ways for different purposes. Example A is satellite imagery of an airport without any additional symbology. Example B uses a symbol of an airplane to represent the airport. Example C uses a polygon to represent the border of the airport property. And example D uses polygons and lines to represent the airport border and the runways. Feel free to pause the video after each of the following questions if you need more time to examine the pictures and think of an answer. Which data symbology would you select if you wanted to do a land use study of properties adjacent to the airport? Most likely you would choose C. Because it shows the border, you can easily see what is adjacent. Example D also shows the airport border, but it includes runway information, which you do not need. Which data symbology would you select if you wanted to create a map of potential new development within the airport? D. Because it shows the airport layout, it would be important to know where the runways are when planning future development. Finally, which data symbology would you select if you wanted to create a map of all airports in the country? B. Because it just shows the airport as one symbol. If you use the symbols pictured in C or D, your map would be messy and difficult to read. The spatial data you make visible on a map depends on its scale, meaning how small or large of an area you are showing. Online maps are usually programmed to show certain types of data at certain scales. So what you see changes as you zoom in or out. Although we won't cover it in this workshop, you can do the same thing with maps you create using web-based or desktop GIS software. You should show enough detail at a particular scale so that your viewer can clearly see all the features you have added. In this example, what features are dependent on scale? In the city map on the left, you can see points of interest, street widths, directions and names, and public transportation stops. These are not visible in the regional map on the right because they are not needed at that scale and would make the map impossible to read. The regional map includes points that represent major cities, highways, and larger state and national parks. Finally, spatial data change over time. The data pictured on the previous slides are only accurate for that particular point in time. Coastlines may erode or be created in a storm. An airport could expand or close. The names of stores or number of streets may change. In this example, you can see from the imagery that Spring Valley had a lot of development from 1977 to 2006. Data for roads or houses will look different at different points in time. 